What don't I know about the Herschel Walker trade? You know, it would take me 30 minutes to explain it, and nobody really still to this day understands it because everybody thinks that we've got, you know, we got like 15 players out of this thing. <laughs> you know, actually, um, you know, Ernie Acorsi was at the Cleveland Browns. I, you know, I was on the phone every day trying to trade anybody I had that, those first couple of years because I knew, I knew if it was the old, you know, take the best player available – like the NFL did. Nobody traded back then. There was no fantasy football. And if we take the best player available, we weren't going to do anything, but we weren't going to turn this thing around because we didn't have enough players. And the only thing I could do is try to make some trades, you know, to build up some draft picks. And so I tried to trade uh, Steve Walsh to a bunch of teams. I ended up trading him for a one, two, and a three to uh, New Orleans. But I'd been on the phone with the Minnesota Vikings, with Mike Lynn, trying to trade Steve Walsh. But Ernie Acorsi was with the Cleveland Browns, and he called and he said, what would it take to get Herschel Walker? He's your only Pro Bowl player. And everybody kind of looked at him, he's your only player. And I said, well, you know, it's going to be one of those uh, guy Lombardi, you know, you know, Lombardo, you know, like a one, a two, and a three, and a one, a two, and a three. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so – <laughs> he called back and he said, "We don't have a one next year." And they da 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 da. And so he said, "What about this?" He said, "I said, you know, that may that may work." Uh, he said, "Well, I'll have Art Modell call you tonight, and we'll finalize this thing." And so I went to Jerry. I said, "Jerry, I said I've got a hell of a trade." And I said, "But uh, I think you know maybe we can get better, and you know we might as well investigate it." I said, "You know Rankin Smith. You know Herschel's from Georgia. Why don't you call him in Atlanta? I'm going to call you know a bunch of these other teams, and I called Minnesota to call Mike Lynn." So I went to practice, and then I came out back at practice, and my secretary said, "There's a fax on your deal about what Mike Lynn wants to offer for Herschel Walker." And we were so bad, he wanted to give me five players that were cast off for him. One had, you know, bad knee. One was disgruntled. <laughs> but they were all better than anything we had. <laughs> you know, and and he said, you know, if you keep these players, you know, the only thing you – only pick you get, you get the one first-round pick. That's it. Yeah, you know, three years from now. Uh, if you keep these players. Uh, and every if you – if the player doesn't make it or you don't keep this player, you end up getting a pick that's – correspond you know to his his name well right then and there i knew i wasn't going to keep any of those players uh i knew i was going to get picks but i couldn't tell mike that so i anticipated down the road um releasing those players and getting the picks and then i got to thinking well i've got him in a bind you know i you know if i wait until the end of the season i can negotiate i'm gonna tell him i'm gonna cut all these players so you're not gonna get anything I said, let me keep the players and the picks, and I'll, I'll kick you back a three or, or a seven or something. And so you know, we released one right off the bat. One had a bad attitude. We released him. Uh, we ended up negotiating, and, and none of those players were part of our Super Bowl teams. Uh, but, but we were able to keep three of those players and end up getting uh, four or five picks. So we ended up about five players out of that deal. But no one really understood the trade and, and how it worked. Uh, and like I said, a lot of people don't understand it to this day. If you don't make that trade. Oh, Dan, that was one trade. Like I said, back then, teams didn't trade. Like, for instance, the New York Giants made one trade in five years. That was with me. Uh, in five years, I made 51 trades. <laughs> and those 51 trades were more than the entire league put together. And that's when I wow. came up with the value chart of, of trading picks for picks because I wanted a, a, a value right there in front of me on draft day and saying, hey, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll swap twos and I'll throw you, you know, my four. Well, they're on the clock. They don't know what the value is. And they say, okay. Well, I had the chart right in front of me, so I knew what the relative value was on this thing. Now every team – in fact, I talked to Ozzy Newsom uh, the other day. He said, hey, I, I use your chart – on uh, the Peters trade uh, with the Rams. Uh, so everybody in the league's got the chart. After I had lost all my coaches, you know, when Wanstead goes to Chicago and Norv goes to Washington, well, they took the chart with them. <laughs> so, so everybody had the chart. we got to call but, it the Johnson chart. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's your legacy. It really uh, is. 
Well, the, the chart helped me, but but we made you know we made you know trading for Charles Haley probably put us in the Super Bowl. Mm. You know, John uh, uh, John McVeigh, you know, called and said, "Hey, you know, I've got a great player, but he can't get along with our coaches. You know, would you be interested?" And so I had my coaches call their coaches, my players call their players. Well, what kind of guy is Charles Haley? And they all said, "Hey, he's a great player. He's smart." You know, but, you know, he has a little problem with authority, you know. And I said, you know, if he's smart and he's got passion for the game and he works hard, I can deal with that. So we ended up making the trade, and that was a key for us, you know, getting that pass rush, you know, for our team. You know, and we lose we lose in the my third year, we lose in the playoffs. We beat Chicago, and then we lose to Detroit because we didn't have any defensive backs. Well, the next year I draft uh, Darren Woodson and Kevin Smith. You know, to help our defensive backs, and so we we kind of locked that, and then that's when we had the Haley trade, that put us in a couple of Super Bowls. But we made 51 trades, like I said, wow. teams didn't trade back then. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on Directv, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.